Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can import your own FBX 3D model character into Wonder Studio. Now, this right here uh, works right now. I got it to work, but honestly, I'm not sure if this is going to change eventually. So if it doesn't work for you, that means either A, they changed it or it just didn't work because you didn't follow the instructions properly. So first things first, what I'm going to do is go to iClone and get a character. Uh, as you all know, I always try to connect iClone and Character Creator into my pipeline because I use this for animation quite a bit and they do have a lot of characters that you can use, right? So I'm trying to open up more doors and I know there are a lot of people who are wondering how to do this with that. And, and another reason why I'm using iClone first is what I'm going to do is take this video and send it to iClone people, to Relusion people so they can see how it works and maybe they can make it compatible you know iclone and wonder studio so so that being said i'm in iclone right now this works with iclone 7 as well doesn't have to be eight i have a character that i'm just going to grab here i'm gonna do the dummy so we're gonna start simple here we are in character i'm just gonna use the dummy that i always use in here which is the motion dummy so we'll do the male one for now because the female already got to work so i'll just double click this and I'm going to scroll up. I'm going to delete that motion because one of the requirements is that you need a character that's in a T-Pose. So this is a T-Pose character right now, which is good. I'm just going to export this out, export FBX. And Blender is okay. Current frame is okay. I'm not going to change anything here. This is going to be in T-Pose. So I will just say export. And I'm going to create a new folder here, Wonder Tut. And then I'll just name this male save. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go to Blender. I'm using 3.3.1. All right, so if you want to follow along, I suggest downloading the same version that I have to just kind of troubleshoot a little bit better. I'm going to go to Import, FBX, and I'll go to the uh, folder there. Wonder Tut, male FBX right here. And I'm just going to face this way. Now, the first thing we need to do here is unfortunately delete the bones because we need to make it compatible with the Wonder Studio skeleton system. So with that being said, to help me out with that, I actually took a screenshot of their sample blend file. So this is what we need to copy, right? Just like this. Now, if you've been retargeting a lot or using animation a lot in Unreal, you're going to notice this right here, left up leg, right up like okay that's mixamo now you can rig and name and make everything look like this manually if you want but i am super lazy so i'm gonna be rigging the character with mixamo because this is the same exact skeleton system as mixamo all right so i'll minimize this i'll just put it on my second screen here on the right so i will delete this all right so we don't have any more bones for our character here and we, he's in a T-pose. That's good. I'm going to delete the tongue, the light. I'm going to delete the CC body because I don't need that. I just want the actual dummy male. Uh, additionally, I'm going to go back to iClone because I will need to export some textures out of here. By default, it exports a couple of textures, but I'm going to need a diffuse. So I'll just export it from scratch. So I'm going to select my character here, go to the material and go to the motion dummy male. And I'm going to take this right here. What I'll do is I'll go right click this texture file and I can't see. So give me a second. Save texture. I'm going to go to Wonder Tut and we're just going to name this Diffuse for now. Save this as a PNG is OK. And I'm going to grab the normal bump. Save texture. Desktop, Wonder Tut. And I'm just going to say normal, normal for this. All right. So perfect. I'm going to minimize. Um, so I'll minimize iClone. We don't need that for now. And what we'll do next is just export this FBX out. So I'm going to click on it, file, export FBX. Again, I'm going to put it in that same folder now. I'm just going to say mesh. I'm not going to bait any animation or any bones at all, any armature. So I'll remove this. I'm going to change this to face. And I'll name this male to Mixamo. So I kind of know what's going on. And as far as the, I'm going to scroll up for the path mode, I'll just go copy and then export FBX. Next, we'll go to Mixamo now. 
and we will upload a character. So I will drag and drop our mail to Mixamo character right now. This is processing. And to be honest with you, I prefer rigging with AccuRig. But the problem is, again, the skeleton system and the hierarchy are different. So this is the fastest way to rig a custom character right now. So I'm going to do the chin, do wrist. I'm going to do the elbows, knees, and then nuts right here. So click next. That's going to do its thing. And I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. All right. So here is our character. I'm going to click next. Next is fine. Okay. So once our character is in there, they have a T-pose in here. As I'm just going to apply to our character. I'll download this. Wood skin is okay. Download. All right. And that's going to give me a new file, which I now will just rename off camera real quick. Mail tpose.fbx. And you're going to see where I'm going to put that here in a second. I'm not doing anything suspicious. Okay. So here is the mail tpose that I just did. Mail tpose fbx. And we'll go back to Blender. This new Blender is fine. I'm going to delete the useless cube and camera. I don't know why it's still there. Go to desktop. We have the Wonder Tut. And we're going to open up the mail tpose. Okay. So now we have the mail tpose. I'm going to delete the light. And now I'm going to pull up the hierarchy that we need to copy. All right. Again, I'm going to have this on my other screen. But this is what we need to change. We need to change the collection name, this right here, and right here. So what I did was just kind of just put it side by side. So if I expose the armature here, you're going to see that beside, you're going to see that except the Mixamo rig, it's pretty darn similar. It's one to one. All right. So I'm going to put this on my right side so I can copy that. Now, again, you can name these bones manually, but I don't know why you would want to. All right. So first thing, like I said, we have to change this to character. So I just hit F2 to change. Change the name there. And then for the amateur, I'm looking at this right now. I just need to add an underscore all caps body. And then all the way down again. And then all the way down. I'm just going to hold shift click. So I'll, it's going to open up all of the um, hierarchy here. Scroll all the way down, all the way down. Let's see. Where's the other one? All right. It's right here. Again, I have to change this to body, amateur body. So we changed three things. The character, added body here, and then added body here. Now, whenever you're rigging with Mixamo, depending on your character, sometimes Mixamo does not rig everything. So expose the hierarchy like I did here and just make sure that you have all the fingers. Sometimes it doesn't rig fingers and you're going to get a lot of errors, right? So one of the trial I had was Mixamo was only rigging three fingers. So I was getting a lot of error when I was trying to import it. So just make sure that you have everything rigged. Okay. Right. So we have armature body right here, which is good. So I'll go ahead and remove this. So the next thing we have to do is actually remove the prefix on the Mixamo rig body. So you can see right here, Mixamo rig hips. We don't need that. We need to remove the Mixamo rig semicolon, I think that's what it's called. So we're only left with hips, spine, spine one, two, whatever. All right. So to do that, I'm going to click on my skeleton right here. I'm going to go to edit mode. And I'm going to select everything, just pressing A. Just make sure you have everything selected. And then go to edit. And then we'll go to batch rename or control F2. We're going to find Mixamo rig colon. Just like, just like what you see right here, Mixamo rig. And we're going to replace that to nothing. So we pretty much want to replace it with blank. And then in the objects, I'm going to change this to bones. And you're going to see that we are going to edit 65 bones. So press OK. And now that's going to be all good to go. So I'll file, save as, and I'm just going to title this J. 
Okay, so JBlend. All right, so we got that taken care of now. So that's good. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change the name of this mesh. Okay, so I'm going to again press F2. And I'm just going to say Mail Z. Okay, type that Mail Z right there. So I just renamed this mesh right here. Additionally, I'm now going to rename this also as Mail Z. Okay. Now let's talk about materials, right? So I'm going to go to object mode right now. If I click this, I'm going to go check out the materials for this mesh. So I'll click right here. And now you see we have Mail Z. Now, again, per the documentation, we need to add Matt, underscore Matt, in this name. So I'm going to go here, double click, and I'm going to add underscore Matt. So if you have multiple materials on your character, you need to change that here. All right. So we got the males material, the same exact name as our mesh right here. Males. Okay. Very freaking important. Trust me. It took me a minute. So there's the males, the mesh and males material. Okay, perfect. So I'll, so, so I'll save this. And next we'll go to shading. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. So you can kind of see better. Sorry, I'm not a Blender user at all. I just know enough to get by. And here's our character here. So we have a diffuse or color. And we have a normal map. All right, so you can see down here. We have two. All right. Now, what we're going to have to do here is delete these and import the ones that I exported out of iClone. So I'm going to go right here and delete, and I'm going to go right here and delete. Next, I will pull up that folder where we just had the texture saved from iClone. I'll pull it up right here, and I'll make this bigger. Now, another requirement, OK? We are going to have to change our diffuse and normal naming convention. So for that, I'm going to pull up the documentation from Wonder Studio right here. Actually, oh, right here. And as you can see here, we have to follow this naming convention. So for a diffuse map, I need to add a underscore text diff. And then for a normal map, I need to do an underscore text underscore norm. All right. So let's keep that in mind. So for the diffuse, we have to name this males underscore text underscore diff. For the normal, males underscore text norm. Okay, that PNG. And we'll double check that. So we're having to name these because we have to help Wonder Studio to know that these textures belong to this mesh, which we named males. All right, so what we'll do next is obviously open that image, males text diffuse right there, and we have the male text norm. Okay, so we're pretty much back to square one. So once that's all taken care of, let's just do some cleanup. I'm gonna go back to my layout, and I'm going to select everything, and I'm gonna press N. I just want to make sure that everything is zeroed out. And as you can see, it's not. So what I'll do is I'll control A. I'm just going to say rotation. I'm going to zero out the rotation, the scale, and the location. All right, so that's control A, zero out location, rotation, and scale. All right, now I can save this. And now we can go to Wonder Studio. Okay, so here we are in Wonder Studio. And as you can see, there were a lot of trial and errors in this one, but I'm hoping with this video, you would skip out a lot of this. Um, and as you all know, you're only allowed to have, you know, character uploads. I think it's 15. They gave me five extra. But additionally, if you go to my assets, big thanks to Christian, you can actually delete these so you can upload more characters. So I'm going to be doing that here after this video. So to upload a new character, I'm just going to go here, upload a new character. I'll name this males, create. And again, you can export an FBX, but my suggestion is go ahead and import that entire blend file in there instead. 
So I'm gonna go right here. And now we're gonna grab that texture, males text diff. All right, so let's drag and drop that. And let's drag and drop this. Upload. And then, fingers crossed, validate. Yes! Score! Your character is ready to use. Yes, that's what I want to know. So it's ready to use. We successfully uploaded a custom character in here. Exciting stuff. So let's go ahead and try it out. Let's go create a new project. Live action is okay. By the way, there's live action advanced too. For y'all people out there, you want to check that out. Go to continue now. And I have this video of this amazing skateboarder. So let's do that. Drag and drop it here. I'm going to say next. I'm going to scan the frame actor here. Now, usually I find a, try to find like a good frame. You can see, you know, majority of his limbs. I don't know if that makes sense or does it matter? I don't know. But for me, good practice. Make sure that uh, Wonder Studio can see the entire thing. And then I'll select this actor right here. And if I go to my characters, scroll all the way down, we have male Z. Okay. Click next. I'm just going to leave everything by default, start processing, and this is going to take about 52 minutes, but I did the female version of this earlier already before the, making this video, and this is what it looked like. Ta-da! That's awesome. Now, obviously, I'm going to be making more videos on how to do this with other characters. And again, one of the reasons why I made it for Relusion Iclone first is I'm going to send this video to them. Maybe they can kind of make something easy for us that we can just export straight out of Accurig. Because again, I would rather use Accurig, Luke, than Mixamo on this, man. So with that being said, that's all I got for y'all right now. I hope y'all learned something new today. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.